Hi, and welcome to the online cyber chip training for grades four through five, produced by the Great Rivers Council. I'm Drew, and today we'll be discussing proper netiquette and internet safety. This training will take roughly 45 minutes to complete due to the length of the videos required to be watched per the cyber chip requirements. The videos we use for this training are produced by NetSmarts. When it's time to watch the videos, a box in this video will appear and you'll be able to click that to get to the video. Or you can select the video link by looking at the description below. Make sure to pause this video before you do though so you don't lose your place in this training. The first video we'll be watching is called Into the Cloud, where we'll learn about some internet safety rules we should follow when we're online. Let's get to it. Whenever this link shows up in the screen, go ahead and pause the video, click it, watch the video, come back here, and I'll still be here. Here's the link. It's okay. I'll still be here when you get back. What a great video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully sometime soon, the NetSmarts team will get that next video submitted so we can figure out how the kids get home. Remember, our online safety rules that we learned are one, I will tell a trusted adult if anything that I find makes me sad, angry, scared, confused, or uncomfortable. Two, I will ask my trusted adult before posting videos or sharing information like my name, phone number, address, or current location. Three, I won't meet face to face with anyone I meet in the digital world. Four, I will respect the online property of others. And five, I will always use good netiquette and not be rude in the online world. Sometimes when you go online, you have to create a profile to access a website. Once you have permission from your parent or guardian to make that profile, you have to come up with a secure password. Why do you do this? How do you make passwords that are safe and secure? Let's watch the next video titled UYN, the password wrap, and find out from the NetSmarts team. Remember, when the video link shows up, pause the video, click it, watch the video, and come back here so we can continue the training. Here's the link. I'll see you when you get back. What an awesome video. Remember that a secure password is important to keep your personal information safe and secure online. Whenever we go online, we sometimes use electronic devices, such as phones, tablets, computers, or games. But when is it acceptable to do so? If you're in an event with your PAC, such as a PAC meeting or a camp out, it's important to always ask your den leader before you use these devices to make sure it's okay. Also, so you don't miss out on any of the fun activities that are going on. Remember that it's important to respect the privacy of others and always ask permission before you take photos and post them online. Also, it is never okay to take photos or videos in private spaces such as bathrooms. We're almost done with the cybership training. All you have left to do are three easy steps. The first is to read, commit to, and sign the Internet Level 1 safety pledge that's located on the back of the cybership card whenever your pack leader gets it to you. Until then, you can download, print off, and sign a copy of it located in the file down below. Number two, you need to use the Teachable Recipes link provided below and demonstrate internet safety to your den, pack, your leader, or your family. Number three, you need to talk to your den leader about when it's okay to use electronic devices while in scouting events and when it's not. I'm so glad you could join us today for the cyber chip training for grades four through five. Remember that this training expires after one year. At that point, you'll have to go to the NetSmarts website, link to their website below, and complete two additional resources to recharge your cyber chip. Thanks for watching, and remember that internet safety and proper etiquette is important anytime you go online.